Hi all and welcome to the video. In this one, it's Let's Build a Tune playthrough number 56. Well, first off, folks, let's just say a very happy new year. Yes, indeed. Yeah, last year was a bit rubbish for me. And I mean, on a personal level, I know a lot of people are saying generally it wasn't a good year. But uh, personally, for me, not a brilliant year. Uh, lost a couple of friends, etc. I mentioned in another video. Um, and those are real life friends. I don't just mean celebrities. And that's the thing with um, celebrities. It's not the celebrity we're really mourning. It's their body of work. Um, I'm taking damage. Put your boots on, you fool. It, yeah, it's it's the loss of talent that we that we truly mourn. You know, it, it it is. It's a hell of a shame to lose people young. But you've got to remember, they they weren't that young. A lot of them were getting older and hadn't led the healthiest of lives. And you know, you do pay the piper in the end. Let's uh, get the right map. So all I'm doing in this one is a few dailies yet again, because that's honestly all Fatty's really doing, that and some team missions. If I get the opportunity to do... Ooh, let's have one of those. Uh, some team missions using our new uh, Discord server, uh, I will. The audio quality is definitely better on Discord, I have to say. I was uh, quite surprised to discover that. Uh, I expected it to be, you know, the same, <laughs> basically. Uh, so that should be pretty good. Yeah, he's utterly debuffed. Now people keep saying, no, no, demons of shadow drop doges a lot more often. I'm not actually seeing that myself, you know, being honest. Kill pets, kill. Uh, and they take longer per mob to kill as they're slightly higher. I think. What level are they? Yeah, 210 ish. And they do have quite a bit more HP than a Sunfist. And we'll do these two while we're here. So we've got a few dailies. We've also got four holes graffiti. That one's always fun. Uh, there's a couple of times I've got ganked trying to complete that mission, which is annoying as hell. You get those title farmers. You know, they can't actually PvP. So what they do is wait for opportunity and. Uh, kill people who were completely unprepared uh, usually I mean, like just inside their pvp range well there's another one doesn't happen often though and it never happens on some of my higher tunes they just don't <laughs> they just don't get attacked for some reason probably because they would not be that easy to kill and if I retaliated, I would probably put in a pretty good showing, even though I am fairly rusty at PvP. I kind of stopped PvPing after all the boxing in uh, Tower Wars just kind of ruined it. It's a hell of a lot better now, though. Ooh, we'll have one of those. You watch it. Oh, right, on New Year's Eve... Oh, there's another one. Um, I got fairly drunk online with the rest of the guild and then proceeded to carry on having a bit of a tipple uh, with Mrs. Kalos too and uh, we watched some TV namely Jewel Holland Utanani, which is always a lot of fun especially if you're into your music and uh, so we watched that and by the end of which I was very drunk so I realised I'd left Fatty logged in to <laughs> into Anagi was still running on the computer I'd sort of forgotten to shut mine down and this was on the way to bed and uh, they said, oh, panned. And I was like, no, I'm way too young, way too drunk <laughs> to be using a computer. So, oh, some fist. So basically they said, oh, no, no, come on, it'll be okay. And I said, are you sure you want me to come on a crack <laughs> and do the crack job? Um, but apparently it went rather well. Um, and I think mainly because Storm Raids pan so much and has raided pan so much it's it's almost autopilot um you know but in a good way because we we survived and uh, fatty didn't die which surprised me because 
a lot of that raid, I had one eye shut. <laughs> so we're trying to avoid double vision. Oh dear me, yes. I, I don't drink like I used to in my youth. So when I do, I uh, I get very, very drunk. Yeah, and that, that kind of ruined New Year's Day, really. I think I had too much. Because New Year's Day, I wasn't doing much of anything except sort of eating and resting quietly. <laughs> yeah. Bit of a shame, but hey... Okay, nothing around here. Oh, hello, corpse. So someone's been around here very recently. Uh, we'll be competing, I guess, for our doja. Not to worry. Never a big deal. Plenty of mobs to go round. Judging by how many are actually up, someone's already been through here, I would say. Yeah, there's none where you would normally expect them, so either that chap is on his way back, or someone else has previously come running through here. Looking at it, I would say someone's already come running through here. Oh, there's one. These things are so annoying. Don't need them. They don't really do any damage, but you can't loot when they're on top of your feet. Nope. My pet's attacking them. They probably are. Ooh. Screen freeze there for a second. I get that if I turn around very quickly here. Kind of an odd bug. And Enforcer, and he's using his rage run. I don't blame him. Trying to get around at any kind of speed on an emp is, uh, is kind of tough. Come on, there's got to be some. Somewhere. No, maybe not then. Oh, there's a long eat. Don't need you. Oh, you. That looks like a long name. It is. Nope. Barkley, are my pets fighting that? Stop it. Stop attacking things, I don't want you to attack. Yeah, you say pet behind and then they still twitch onto stuff. Kind of annoying. Yeah, it was only 40 odd seconds before, so they're not due respawn yet. Some down here should be. Longy! Wherever my bots are. No, you're not going to warp to me either. Fine. Killing this one on my own. No idea where they are. Stuck behind a rock somewhere. Let's see now. A uh, huge team. Oh, well, you don't own all the mobs and you're not attacking that one, so... If you were, I wouldn't bother. Hey! <laughs> He's got area loop on. He's going to be gutted. So we just picked up our doja. Right, I'm going to click that. And go hand it in.
I hate this bloody animation every time you zone here. It's totally unnecessary. Never mind. Yeah, so New Year's Day. Yeah, I think I spent it like most people, not being very quiet and not doing very much. It was just one of those things. Now, where's the key? That one. I was kind of lucky picking out one of those mobs that actually dropped it, but yeah. Who'd have thunk? Don't need. So for Fatty, not a lot of updates. He's pretty much where he was. I just want to get the rest of his research completely done. Get an awakened bot, which will take time because I've got to organise a, a POH run, and a lot of people don't need it on most of their tombs now. So we're sort of waiting for a when everyone's kind of like, okay, now we want now we want this on this new tune, and then yeah, then we'll start doing them again. But it does seem to be like that. We don't usually do it when we're trying to organise a raid, and and the reason for that is because it's not a raid; it's a team thing. So in other words, you can only take six people in. So when you know you've got twenty, thirty people all wanting to come and. Um, <laughs> and do stuff, then, yeah. Right, let's talk to Scarlet. Right, so that's one done there. And... Research. This is where we're at at the moment. I really want to get this one finished today for the Add All Death, followed by Max Health, meh, Matter Creation, meh. And then it's the last line, which is just that. And then the rest of what I want to do with Fatty is, yes, we want to finish these off, but like I say, to get this one in, we're going to need agility or sense, depending if we go control or extermination. Same with the eye, and same with the brain, except that that one is stamina. But as soon as we take that one out, we drop psychic by 66, sense by 27, and intelligence by 66. That's the killer there. So when we do that, yeah. So, hmm. <laughs> Tough one. Right, so we've got four holes, and we've got go kill a prisoner, I think. Kill the diseased, yes, I did talk to Warden Staines before we started. Uh, should we go the long way for a change? Yeah, let's go via the grid. We'll go into ICC. And then... There you go, four holes. So we've got the mission there. Should I do this? Let's do this one last, because I don't want to go to diseased flagged. Because then anyone that joins team with us will also be flagged. So, skip ahead. We'll go do this one first, via Harry's again. I could grid out there, but... Uh, <sighs> I don't. No, I'm not hungover, I know that, but I'm kind of meh. It's like that one, well, it's not really, is it? It's like an entire week, with with Christmas and New Year both falling kind of on weekends. I think uh, we all probably enjoyed ourselves a little too much, and, uh, and then, of course, most people had that one week off in between where you sort of get out of your natural sleep schedule, or, or you know, cycle, whatever, and um, generally eat too much, drink too much of the wrong stuff, and well, I'm not saying that people don't enjoy themselves doing that, but they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. And why not, hey? So, yeah, tonight in the new year, it, in kind of detox mode, really, is uh, is where I'm at today. Um, I finished the Mankind Divided game. I thought it was quite good. I don't think it will. They'll ever repeat the success or you know critical acclaim the very first game got because it's not actually the same company making it anymore. Um, Elias Tufexis still awesome as Jensen. 
a lot of the aspects of the game were really, really good. What I absolutely didn't like about the game was they gave players New Game Plus, which is great, and some DLC. Also great, but you couldn't import your save from New Game Plus into that. And they weren't going to budge on it either. And it seems the reason is, is they do microtransactions in a $60 game. The game is already $60, and then they put microtransactions for in-game items in a standalone game. And I just think that is utterly wrong, and I will not pre-order anything from them, ever. Um, this, this wasn't pre-ordered, it was a Christmas present on Steam. Which is all well and good. And the other thing they did is, the DLC, you play through it and you think, Oh, I, I want to play through it a different way this time. No, no, one use only. DRM locked to one use only on DLC. Pfft. I really don't want to buy another game off this company. I really don't. I, I think they need to sack their marketing department, have a very serious word with themselves. And that did put a bit of a, a, a thing on it. The only people that really win are the people that pirate the game because they can play the DLC as often as they like. And can you see how stupid that is? It should never be that way, should it? I don't know. So yeah, it was a good game. It seemed to end very abruptly to me though. That's that's something I, I wasn't keen about. It, I sort of thought I'd only killed the first boss of many. Nope, that was the boss and that was the whole game. In fact, I didn't kill him, I, I uh, managed to have both his kill switch and a thing to block his um, <clears throat> his detonator trigger. So I used it and then um, managed to sneak around the back of him and use a non-lethal takedown three times in a row on him and uh, took him down. And that's where the game ended. Managed to save Miller and the delegates, etc. So I had a good time playing the game, but it just felt like I, don't, I was only quarter of the way through it. It didn't feel like I'd actually completed the game. It was a bit of a disappointment, really, especially for the price they were asking. You know, it's, it's a shame. Never mind how pretty it looks, which it did. Um, it could have been on the exact same engine as the last game, and I would still have enjoyed the game if it had been longer and more of it. But hey, there we go. That was that game. And just something to talk about while we were waiting <laughs> and travelling our way here. So I looked at some other symbionts. Which box have I got them in? No? Not. No. Yeah, there we go. So the foot I've gone for is the extermination. As this one's the agility, and agility is naturally a bit higher on Trox than senses. You can see there, I don't know if this comes out on YouTube or not, but agility is medium blue and sense is dark blue, like intelligence and psychic. So agility is generally that bit higher. You can see there straight away it's already quite a bit higher. Uh, the problem that's going to be for Fatty is keeping pistols out of OE. Because we've got no perks that really help. I've got 1208 burst, but I think I've got other people's buffs running. Possibly. Not sure. Because when you convert these pistols here in to the upgraded ones, it is tricky to keep them out. So I probably probably have to make a right arm implant a 300 one or get one it takes a long time to farm on i know that tend to drop at the um the merc camp as i call it well well there's no corpse so it could be as long as 15 minutes we're waiting i don't know well i went off and made a cup of tea and in the meantime someone's showed up here Crash after 14. I suppose. Do you want a team then? There we go. So yeah, there's. Uh, we're not sure on the spawn timer because there's no actual corpse here to check. So he's got, yeah, Carlita and Corporate Guardian. 
We've got a little star. Very Christmassy. Oh, here comes another one. Who's this? Doc. Yeah, okay. So I'm guessing Crash Shaft must have um, killed him before or something. Don't know. So you got the bureaucrat shoulder pads. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't sure what to do on shoulder pads for Fatty. At the minute he's got superior, icy, powerful mind ones, which are quite nice. Um, and then one of these I just left on, <laughs> just for why not. Um, so yeah, he's got that on. And of course he's got the uh, the CC. Yeah, I'm not sure what he means by seven minutes, other than perhaps that was the last time it died. Yeah. Surprised the crats die in there. At 2.14. It's like your pets deal with him. Well, apparently it is three minutes to go. So we're waiting again <laughs> for three minutes. Yay, there he is. Right, in you go. UBT on him right away. Awesome. one of those situations where I need a bigger window. Yes, it is. Okay, let's keep that on him. And that on him. CH aggro for the win. Nothing we'd want, so never mind. Right, so that's him done, which leaves the last mission. Hey, well, uh. yeah, so the last one is the go get yourself flagged one in four holes, which will do. And try not to die. Or we could even... Actually, let's report back to Warden Stains. So that's then handed in. And then we've only got to run once to the mission agency. There we go. Warden Stains, another dead prisoner, uh, green, arbor, arbitrarily, that we don't need. I need to get these bagged up and cut. All these pearls here. They're not that high level, but still worth a little bit when you sell them. Right, okay, so... Full holes. Watch me get ganked. Sure to happen, but it's not like we can lose XP anymore, so no biggie. So I usually take a similar route each time. Seems to be the shortest. Before we start, well, how's the unionist doing? Seven minutes now. Nah, I'm not. I'm not hanging around. Where's the poster? There we go. It's easy to spot with a new engine because it has that on it. There you go, and we're flagged. So even if we go and hide in a building while we're here, we can still be attacked by anybody 
Now what a lot of people used to do was come running up this ramp, do the last one, and then use a beacon back to the Shadowlands where they were in a 100% garden and couldn't be attacked. There we go. And poof. Okay, so we've done that part of the mission. Now it's just a case of getting back to the office. Yes, there is a hole in the middle. You can fall through on that. Okay, it doesn't look like anyone's camping here today, or if they are, they didn't notice us, or they didn't bother. And now we want to go back to old Athens. See if we get ganked running. <laughs> and it has happened along this little bit of pavement here, going back to the clan agency. Let's just see. And agency receptionist, mission complete. Thanks for the XP, dude. Okay, how close are we now? Ooh, we might just get that extra bit of death. Yes, we did. Okay, so that's now added. Plus 50 to all death, very handy. Uh, next one's going to be max health, meh. Matter creation, not bad. And then the last line there is professional development. Quite cool. So yeah, that's not bad, happy with that. And that'll do for this morning with Fatty. But that's basically what I do with him most days now. You just get those levels finished and then when we actually get to do his very last symbionts, I will try and record it. Recording those, it just ended up taking so long messing about that um, the footage wasn't great. So yeah, <laughs> never mind. Right, folks, I shall leave it there for now and say bye for now.